What does this department do? Well, this department's name is Wine, Food and Molecular Biosciences. And it does everything that it says in its name. It's a, it's a bit like sort of a, a tin of paint or a tin of bronze seal. It does what the name says. We are a centre in terms of developing expertise in wine science, um, anything from the growing of the grapes, the manipulation of the plant material, um, looking at fermentation technology, how to make a good bottle of wine, looking at the aroma and flavour compounds of different wine uh, regions and different wine grapes and different wine fermentation processes in order to reach the consumer in optimum quality. We dabble in food, uh, food innovation, food processing, food and nutrition. And again, that's with the consumer in mind. So we need to provide the New Zealand consumer and the consumer that buys our food in terms of export market. Uh, we need to provide that consumer with good quality food, with good quality food that helps them in terms of their nutrition and also is traceable back into the individual um, industry places and marketing places that they, that food comes from. And then we have molecular biosciences. And molecular biosciences is really the key to both of those because without understanding the biochemistry, without understanding the molecular structures that we deal with in terms of wine and food, then we don't understand how we can manipulate those to really serve the consumer best. So where do you start with all that? Very good question. You can either start with science um, and then you go into very theoretical researchy type of ideas. You can start with the consumer and then you are really looking at the applied nature of food and wine and, and um, food technology in, in general. Um, or you can start with the students and think about education because really education and learning experiences and facilitating that learning experience is, is key to university as well as sort of the research and, and other aspects. Lincoln University seems to use a lot of their PhD students. We do and I have recently been appointed as director of the graduate school for Lincoln University and it's one of our main thrusts in terms of allowing our PhD students and our master's students the opportunity to work with industry to undertake that research because we believe that they are the leaders of the future and if we can capture their imagination, we capture their ideas, it will help New Zealand's economy in the future. Charles, how do you get all that out to the industry? incredibly difficult. We have to talk to them. And sometimes talking to industry from an academic point of view is, is very, very hard because academics and professors like myself, we come across as a little bit staid, a bit of grey around the edges and, and sort of being in the business a little bit too long and removed from the chalk face. So it's really having a focus on the applied nature of what we teach what we research and what the industry needs is, is where we start from. And that applied nature is crucial to Lincoln University. We've, we've been in food since 1873 in one form or the other. And it's that long heritage of helping not only the, uh, the, the farmer in Canterbury and the farmer in the South Island, but the food industry in New Zealand and globally. Many of our researchers, for instance, are um, traveling uh, professors um, going to conferences and uh, disseminating knowledge widely across the international sector and also bringing back international expertise to New Zealand so that we can magpie ideas for the benefit of, of New Zealand. And our PhD students and our postgraduate students are a rich source of those sort of magpie ideas that we can use.